Fox Sports' Jeff Kolb is live at the AAC with more on that. Jeff? Hey, Blake, this place completely empty right now. The doors don't open until 6 o'clock. But come 730, this building should be absolutely electric. I'm told it's a sellout. No shock there. Dallas, of course, two seasons removed now from that Stanley Cup appearance. But the players, they're still motivated to try and get back to that ultimate level for the fans in large part, who, of course, couldn't be there to be a part of it. They also want to make things right after missing the playoffs last season. And when you look at this roster right now, most of the core guys who were a part of that incredible run in the NHL bubble are back once again. Now heading into this season, head coach Rick Bonus ran the team through a grueling training camp. In his words, some very hard skating that was intended to help Dallas handle its brutal opening schedule of four road games in six days. The Stars came through that stretch going two and two. When you look at the numbers right now, the scoring has been a problem. Dallas averaging just 1.75 goals scored a game. That currently ranks second worst in the NHL. But the Stars really felt good about their 2-1 shootout victory in Pittsburgh to end the road trip. Not the prettiest hockey by any means, but the kind of grinded out effort that Tyler Sagan says Stars fans should expect to see a lot of. Maybe to the eye and for some of you guys on Twitter, a little boring. You know, maybe repetitive, but uh, it's how we're successful. We defend well, we compete hard, we win games 2-1. Uh, we're pesky, we're we're dirty and ugly, and uh, you know that was nice to see, uh, especially against a team like like Pitt, who's been really buzzing, scoring a lot of goals in, in their own ring. So, like I said, a lot of stuff to build on as a squad, and um, you know, look forward to building them up. Establishing your home ice, always huge in sports, including in the NHL. The Stars lost more games in this building last season than they won. Dallas, of course, looking to get off to a 1-0 start here at the AAC tonight at 7.30 when puck drops against the LA Kings. I'll, of course, have your highlights, your post-game reaction coming up live on Free For All tonight at 10.30. For now, live at the AAC, I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports. Hey, Steve, the fans just starting to filter in. The doors just opened up at 6 o'clock. Come 7.30, this place will be completely packed. Should be an electric atmosphere. I'm told it's a sellout. No shock there. Even though it's been two seasons since the Stars made that exciting run to the Stanley Cup final, the thinking is that the window to win it all for Dallas is still very much so open. Most of the core players from that team are still a part of the franchise. Dallas, of course, missed the playoffs last season, but it was such an unusual year. A COVID outbreak early on that led to a weird schedule. Some key injuries like Tyler Sagan and Ben Bishop. So the thinking is if this team can stay healthy and consistent, they hope they can give the fans here a Stanley Cup to experience right in this building. Now leading into this season, head coach Rick Bonus put the team through a grueling training camp. In his words, some very hard skating. That was very intentional, trying to help Dallas handle its brutal opening schedule of those four road games in just six days. The Stars coming through that stretch two and two. Now, when you look at the stats right now, the scoring has been an issue. Dallas averaging just 1.75 goals scored a game. That currently ranks second worst in the NHL. But the Stars felt really good about their 2-1 shootout victory in Pittsburgh to end the trip. Bones believes his guys have created good opportunities. It's just a matter of time before the goals start coming. You gotta believe that our scorers are gonna get their timing back and their confidence back and uh, the puck will start going in the net. Look, we had some great A's all alone in front of the net. Usually they go in, they didn't. Um, so again, when we get that, we get those guys getting their offensive instincts back and their timing and their confidence to use the timing and the instincts, we'll, we'll start scoring some goals. Establishing your home ice, always crucial in the NHL. The Stars lost more times in this building last season than they won. Dallas, of course, hoping to get off to a 1-0 start here tonight. Puck drop at 7.30 against the LA Kings. I'll have the highlights, the reaction for you, of course, live on Free For All tonight at 10.30. For now, live at the AAC, I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports.